Crews are out this afternoon working on a traffic light that was damaged during a car wreck earlier this morning. Police say there were six females traveling in the car, all under the age of 21, who appear to be intoxicated. But to top it off, there was a child sitting in the lap of a front seat passenger. One person is seriously injured and remains hospitalized. According to Port Isabel Police, 20-year-old Rudy Casares of Weslaco lost control of the F-150 she was driving and hit a traffic pole at the foot of the Queen Isabella Memorial Causeway. She had a um, laceration in the head, which might have occurred while when, uh, when the vehicle ran into the pole. She must have hit either the top of the vehicle. And I don't know at this time if they were wearing, if she was wearing seat belt. Police Chief Wally Gonzalez says the group was heading to South Padre Island. Four females were in the back, another in the front with Casares. Chief Gonzalez says that person was holding a two-year-old girl on her lap. I think the roads were a little bit sleek from the rain and the driver must have lost control. 19-year-old Jacqueline Delgado of Harlingen is at Valley Regional Medical Center in Brownsville. She's in critical condition. The other five passengers, including the two-year-old girl, were treated and released. However, Casares is facing serious charges. Brought her in for a test. Uh, she refused to test the uh, toxilizer test here. Then she was driven to the hospital where a blood test was Done. Chief Gonzalez says results show Casares did have a lethal amount of alcohol in her blood. In Port Isabel, Astrid Martinez, Action 4 News.